Hi, Ed here from Tech Talk with a new how-to video. Many people are working from home due to COVID and the need to use RD web services has increased. This includes using Microsoft Remote Desktop for Mac. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure Microsoft Remote Desktop on your Mac computer. Also, if you're one of the many that has it installed already and you are getting the unable to connect error, this video is for you as well. If you need assistance with RD Web or Remote Desktop setup or Remote App setup for Windows, I can help you too. Please check out my new video. The link is in the description below. So let's get started. Originally, I was going to show you how to set up Remote Desktop 10, but I don't like to waste my viewers' time. For many of you, it will install and look normal, but as soon as you try to connect to your remote desktop or your PC, it'll fail. Or work one time and not the next time. Luckily, with the help of a coworker, we found that the beta version 10.4.1.1825 still works and we have experienced no issues. So let's get to installing it. Copy the link provided in the description below into Safari. You'll scroll down to where you can see 10.4.1 or 1825. And it's right here. So just go ahead and click on the arrow right here. And then you should see download. Go ahead and click download. So I'm going to click down here on the downloads folder. And then I'm going to click on Microsoft Remote Desktop Beta in the, the folder. Then you'll see a pop up asking you for permission to run the beta version of Microsoft Remote Desktop. Go ahead and click open. Once the application is open, you'll have two options. You can connect to a PC or you can connect to a workspace. I'll show you first how to connect to a workspace. Click the workspace tab up at the top and then click add workspace. That's if it wasn't showing for you already. Then type in the URL associated with your um, work or whatever um, URL that uh, you were provided. You should see that it automatically verifies it if you type it correctly. You can either do ask when required or you can just click add um, or you can manually add a user. I'm going to go ahead and just keep it the way it is and then I'm going to click add. And if it works correctly, it should load pretty quick. Now, with the Microsoft Remote Desktop 10, many times that's where it gets hung up. It'll, it'll hang there forever, or it'll load, and then you won't be able to run the application once it's loaded. Go ahead and click continue once you're sure you typed it correctly. And then your workspace should automatically load. <clears throat> now this is where a lot of people were having trouble with the remote desktop. So they would click 
the remote desktop and they would get unable to connect a server. I'm going to show you that this actually works. Now, typically the error that pe most people were experiencing would happen sometime after this. It would say unable to connect a server. In this case, it, it looks like it's actually going through, um, which not surprising. Like I said, we've tested this thoroughly and um, it's been working pretty good. So now what we'll do, I'll log off this. So if you want to connect to a local PC, click PC and then click Add PC. Now you're going to go ahead and add your PC name. And then you'll need, you can add an, an optional friendly name. So I can um, call it uh, desktop if I want. And then you're going to want to add, add your gateway. So the gateway is most likely going to be the same as your workspace. Some people have it different. In this case, I'm going to take out the HTTPS. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and leave this the same. And then I'm going to click just add. And then I'm going to click add again. And now, if everything's set up correctly, now I'm going to click on the gateway. I'm going to type in the user information again, and then I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to hit continue again. And as you can see, it wants to connect. So if this helps you, um, go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get notifications.